Hey everybody, my name is Steven Wisdom and I'm a Regional Strike King Pro. And over the last year, I've been playing with this bait called the Thunder Cricket. Strike King introduced it last year and I have absolutely fell in love with it. And it's not just because it's a bladed jig and people love bladed jigs and you get a lot of success on, on them. But what I've discovered over the past year is the versatility in the th Thunder Cricket when it comes to the trailer and our ability to be able to use many different trailers to catch fish. And so today we're gonna to play around with that today. We're gonna to see if we can catch fish on multiple trailers on the Thunder Cricket. And the reason that's important for me and I think for you is, a lot of times it takes a different type of trailer not only to build confidence in the bait, because so often a bait company will introduce a bait and you'll have to fish it a certain way with a certain thing, a certain, certain situation. And sometimes it's hard to build confidence. And even for me, I didn't have a lot of confidence in a bladed jig at first but what I was able to do is to I was able to team it up with a trailer and actually a rage crawl that I had a lot of confidence in and began to catch a lot of fish and then I realized well what if I if I did it on a rage crawl could I do it on a minute scrub and if I did it on a minute scrub could I do it on a rage swimmer you know and if I could do it on a, a rage swimmer could I do it on a blade minnow and so today that's what we're gonna do we are going to show you guys that that you truly can catch a lot of fish a lot of different ways with this Thunder Cricket. And we're gonna highlight those four baits I talked about. The Rage Crawl, the Minnow Scrub, the Blade Minnow, and the Rage Swimmer. These are probably four of my favorite trailers. And the really cool thing about it is, with the different color variations of not only the Thunder Cricket, but also uh, the trailers, is you can match the forage, you can match the situation you know where we're at today there's there's not a lot of structure in the water but what structure there is i think the fish are on it and it's wood and so a lot of times i like to use uh, more creature type trailers like the rage crawl or the menace when i'm around wood or uh, or even around grass um, and also when i'm around grass i like to put on that rage swimmer or even fish in open water making it really look like a, a, a shad or threadfin shad or a gizzard shad swimming through the water again we think that we've designed a pretty amazing bait, but it's even better when you begin to explore how many different variations you can use to catch fish based off whatever situations you find yourself in. And we're gonna show that to you today. Time to cricket. Hey guys, today we have been fishing the Strike King Thunder Cricket. And the one thing I love about this Thunder Cricket is the fact that you can fish it with so many different trailers. Today, this is the, the, uh, the, the Rage Swimmer, but the Menace, um, the, uh, the, the Bladed uh, Minnow, um, the Rage Crawl. It's really awesome how you can hone in on really what the fish want based off structure. I'm really more confident with the Thunder Cricket around structure. A lot of guys do very well in open water and they'll use a more of a swim bait like trailer, but I like to get around structure and put a, um, a, a rage crawl on it because that's, that's just where I'm most confident. But today we're in a lot of open water and they're really liking it a lot. So cool thing about Thunder Cricket, the new Strike King Thunder Cricket is the trailer combinations. There's a lot of them. Strike King Thunder Cricket structure, my favorite. See if we can call our shot right here on this log. Log tried to show me up. He's in there. There he is. There he is. Underneath that tree. Got a little attitude on. Nice. Nice pretty fish. Another fish on the Thunder Cricket. You know, we've been talking about this Thunder Cricket today and the really cool part about it is the fact that you can catch so many different fish um, on different trailers. And the versatility in this bait is awesome, especially with all of the, the different types. Uh, with Strike King, you know, we, a minute ago we, we talked about the Rage Swimmer and this is a, a Menace Scrub and probably my favorite setup. I'm, um, I love finish, fishing the Thunder Cricket 
a round structure where it's kind of mimicking a little bit more of a creature versus maybe a shad swimming, you know, more of a, or even a brim versus a shad. So more of a natural color versus a shad color, but another fish, another trailer. Let's see if we can do it again. All right, guys, how far can it go? So we've caught two fish trying to prove a point about the trailers on the Thunder Cricket. So we caught one with the Rage Swimmer. We caught one with the Menace Grub. And now we got the Rage Crawl. Let's see how far we can take this thing. Like I men mentioned, I like to fish it around structure. And I see a tree. We're gonna see if there's one under this tree. Uh-oh, right there. Right there, right there, come on. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Pull my dress down. All right, let's see if he's right here, right here, around the end of this tree. There he is, right there. I knew he was on me. Ah. He's right off the end of that tree. There he is. Oh, I don't think he's any bigger, but they sure are me. Boom. Thunder Cricket. Another trailer, another fish. Three for three. Let's see how far we can go. All right, here we go, guys. We've been talking about the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Great bait, great design, functions very well. But what we're really focusing on today is the versatility in the trailers. And we've shown several different trailers, caught fish on, on all of them. We're going to try it one more time with the Blade Minnow. Let's see if we can catch one right off of this brush pile right here. We can't resist the Thunder Cricket Blade Minnow. Let's see if we can make it four for four on the Thunder Cricket trailer setup. Little guy, little guy, lost him. There he is. Come on, baby. Nice. I love it. Love it. Another Thunder Cricket fish on another trailer. And that's the beautiful thing about the bait is the versatility in the bait allows you to really be able to create confidence in a bait. You know, for me, I used to fish these bladed jigs with only a creature type bait. And being able to effectively change out my trailers on one bait and catch fish over and over again really builds my confidence and I think it'll build yours but that just is the beauty of not only the design of the Thunder Cricket, but the different variations that Strike King brings to the table to allow you to really hone in on what these fish want on basically on what type of structure, open water, grass, laydowns, stumps, um, you know, even with the right color variation, probably even rolling it down into rocks and boulders. And so you can't really go wrong. Thunder Cricket, four fish, four trailers, beautiful. It's always best the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Hey guys, my name's Stephen Wisdom, and I'm a regional Strike King bro. Bro. I'm a regional Strike King bro. <laughs> I'm a bro. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Wisdom, and I am a regional Strike King bro. I did it. I'm a regional Strike King fisherman. <laughs> I fish because I like it. <laughs> uh, 